Companies like Tyson Foods are picking your pocket in broad daylight. You don't believe me? Check out what their quarterly earnings reports say about rising prices. We will remain disciplined in our pricing initiatives to ensure additional inflationary pressures are passed through to customers. You hear that? They're talking about you. Now, they actually changed the wording on that sentence in their most recent report, swapping our passed through to customers to our mitigated by sales price increases. A bit sneaky, wouldn't you say? While companies like Tyson may complain about rising costs, they're passing all of the pain on to you, the customer, and they're hoping you won't notice that they're using inflation as an excuse to fatten their profit margins, too. How is this possible? Well, Tyson operates in a concentrated industry. It's just one of four companies that dominate the pork, beef, and poultry markets. This corporate concentration is no accident. It's a strategy enabled by decades of successful corporate lobbying for weak antitrust enforcement. For years, companies like Tyson have used their market power to gobble up smaller competitors left and right, concentrating their power at every level of the production process. Tyson once outlined their corporate ethos plainly, segment, concentrate, dominate. The company later trademarked that phrase, by the way. Look, if markets were truly competitive, companies like Tyson would keep their prices down and profit margins slimmer in order to prevent competitors from grabbing away customers. But they aren't, and they don't. This structural problem can be fixed by only one thing a genuine revival of antitrust enforcement, and a crackdown on corporate concentration. 